Welcome to Serenity. My name is Sarah and I talk all about tea here. I'm doing a different kind of video today. I'm doing tea empties. So we have all of my tea empties of 2022. There are a lot of empties here. I drink a lot of tea. <laughs> of course I had to put it into a cute little treasure chest because what better way to store something so precious? I thought it would be fun to go through all my tea empties and decide would I repurchase them or not? Did I like them? I'm gonna try not to spend too much time on each one because I mean, I've got a full treasure chest here. I'm a person that loves organization even though my house has been a complete disaster for the better of a year and a half now. PTSD does funny things to you, like making it extremely overwhelming to tidy. <laughs> but I still have the organization deep within my heart. So I have organized my tea empties by tea type and alphabetical order because that's how I do things. First tea empty out of Davis Tea Herbals is bubble gum. It's a very, very unique tea. It's especially good for those of you who have the nostalgia of the 90s. So would I repurchase? 100% yes. I still have some left in my collection, so I'm not out yet, but I love this one. It is a very, very fun, nostalgic tea. Definitely would recommend if you like nostalgia. If you don't, some people have said this tastes really weird. To me, it tastes amazing. Next one, Copa Banana. I had a tin of this, empty now. This was back when they used to send you labels if you bought more than 100 grams of tea online. Copa Banana is so delicious. It's smooth and creamy. It makes an absolutely excellent latte. I would say this is probably my favorite banana tea by David's Tea. I have a couple bags left, but I am running low. That scares me a little bit. I'm gonna be sad when I don't ever have this tea again. I don't reach for it very often. It's one of those situations where I save it because I'm afraid not to have it. <laughs> would I repurchase? 100% yes. I would definitely repurchase this tea. Next one is Fireside Mocha. This one is usually released around Christmas. It's nice. It kind of tastes like cocoa. It's got, I mean, a unique flavor. You can't really explain it unless you've actually sipped this one. Would I repurchase this one? I would say if it was on sale, yes. I have quite a large stockpile of it. Someone on the Facebook fan page was so kind as to send me a whole bunch. So I am stocked for a while on this. Someday you will see me unbox that. I have a whole bunch of Facebook purchases that I plan to do a video on. They're all just like sitting in a row, still packaged. Next one is a tin Forever Nuts. This tea is a David's Tea Classic. It's one of their best sellers. I usually use this one as a way to introduce people to loose leaf tea. Would I repurchase this tea? 100% yes I would. It's actually on my list of teas I need to buy because I am almost out. I only have one 50 gram bag left, so I'm gonna refill this tin actually. Next one, I polished off a pitcher pack and a normal bag, and that's the new version of Mango Fruit Punch. This was initially one of my very, very favorite fruit infusion teas. It's really, really nice. Would I repurchase? Yes, I would. I would probably only repurchase on a sale though because I have so many herbals now that are fruity and I tend to reach for dessert style teas way more than I do fruity teas, but I really like this one. It's nice, hot and cold. And this is the new blend too, the one that steeps pink. I have the old blend as well that is yellow and initially I liked that one better, but I actually like this one better now, so yay. Next one, and this was actually from my mom's collection. This is Mother's Little Helper. There wasn't much left, so I just polished it off. All gone now. So not exactly my own tea empty, but still, I thought it would be good to include it. I don't typically reach for Mother's Little Helper. I'm not huge into nighttime teas. So would I repurchase this tea? Probably not for myself, but I do buy this one regularly as a gift. A lot of people love it. In fact, I am going to be picking it up today for someone for their birthday. Next one, orange passion fruit. This one's pretty nice. It's very orangey. Would I repurchase this one? Probably not unless it was like $2 a bag. Yeah, it's pretty good. It just doesn't steep super bold, which I like bolder fruit teas. This bag was my sister's. She gave me her leftovers because they didn't really like it much either. So yeah, it got rated a six on my brother-in-law's scale of tea deliciousness. 
Next one, Rainbow Lemonade. This one's a little bit strange. It's okay. I typically really, really like lemon teas. I have a whole bunch of them, but I would not say that this one is up in my top. Would I repurchase this one? Probably not. Again, with the exception if it was like a buck or two. Sales get me all the time on teas that I would not typically buy. If they're very, very inexpensive, it's like I can't help myself. But yeah, not a huge fan of this one. Next one, raspberry mojito. My mom really loved this tea. She loved having mint and fruit in teas, and this one infused both. I actually did a tea review on this one too with little Frankie Franks when she was just a few months old. <laughs> Would I repurchase this? Probably not. I don't reach for it myself, and without my mom, it just doesn't really get brewed much, so yeah. Next one, Shirley Temple. This was a gift from my sister. She sent me as a thank you for something. I went through it pretty quick. I like this one. It's very, very fruity. It tastes like a Shirley Temple. Would I repurchase? Only if it was on a deep sale. It was nice, but there's ones I like better. Tropic Tango. I would not repurchase this one. I don't like this one at all. So just laying it out there. Not a fan. Unicorn Dream. This is one of my very, very favorites. Would I repurchase this one? 100% yes, I would. I would probably almost pay full price if I had like a 15% coupon code or something. I don't pay full price on many of them, I've got to admit. I am one of those people that love sales, but Unicorn Dream is definitely one of my very, very favorite herbal infusions or fruit infusions. It's really, really fun. It was in my top 10 teas of 2022 as well. Love this one. This is probably the bag I did the tea review with my mom. Uh. And last one in my herbals, that is watermelon mint. This is a pretty fun tea. It's very different and they managed to actually capture the flavor of watermelon, which is really hard to do. Would I repurchase this one? Yes, I would, probably at $4 a bag. So maybe like 50% off sale. <laughs> it was nice. It's definitely worth a try. It's unique, so yeah. On to my rooibos. I only have two for my rooibos teas. I don't reach for rooibos a lot. One is cinnamon rooibos chai, which is one of my very favorite ones. Would I repurchase this tea? 100% yes. I actually buy it very regularly from the grocery store because I like it in sachets. This one's really, 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 really good. Very flavorful and full bodied and just overall delicious. Next is a little sampler tin. This is one of the tins that Laura got me for Christmas a couple years ago. You probably see that Christmas haul online. Lavender buttercream is one of the very best lattes that you can make if you wanna go for a floral latte. Would I repurchase this one? Yes, I would. I actually have, I have a pretty good stockpile on tins. If I drank lattes more often, I would probably go through it faster, but I don't tend to reach for lattes super often. I should try this tea on its own. I don't think I ever have. I think I've always done it latte style. But yeah, these little tins, they're kind of a nice size to try. Although I find that the tea goes stale very quickly in them. I don't know why. Maybe they're just not as airtight or maybe it's the quantity. I'm not sure. On to mate. I only have one. Chocolate covered strawberry. I can still kind of smell it. I love chocolate covered strawberry. I haven't reached for it in a while. I think I've just forgotten about it. I have so many drawers of tea, it's easy to forget about them. I really like this tea. I like the fact that it's got white chocolate in it. I like the tartness of the strawberries, which they actually use hibiscus to mimic. It's delicious. My only complaint is that you cannot latte it because of the hibiscus. For some reason, my brother-in-law did not like this tea at all, so they gave me some of their extra bags. That made me very happy. But I would definitely buy more. I remember making my parents stop at David's Tea on my way for my brother's birthday so I could pick him up some teas, but then I ended up buying myself a whole bunch of this along with vanilla cappuccino. <laughs> for some reason, this tin didn't seal very well, so yeah, the smell got all through the car and it was just magic in there. Next grouping of teas will be my white teas. First one up, cardamom macchiato. This one I only find okay. I ended up getting quite a few bags of it because it was on an epic sale for like $2.50 a bag or something. Would I repurchase this one? Probably not. I don't reach for it very often. It's nice, but just not 100% to my taste. 
but this one certainly is cookie dough. I absolutely love this tea. I drink it all the time, especially mixed with Campbell's Gold Vanilla Honey. It just tastes like cookie dough. It's really good. I have a massive stockpile of this. I probably have like 10 bags left right now. If it came back, would I repurchase? I would probably add to my stockpile if it was a good price, just so that I wouldn't have to worry that I would run low. I really like this one, so yes. Next one, this was one of my mom's teas as well, Deep Blue Spirulina. This was her absolute favorite. She loved this one. She would often blend it with her homegrown mint. She would grow and dry her own mint and make her own tea out of it. But I bought this for her, and then when I took her tea collection home, I infused it back into mine, and then I polished off the tin. This tea is really fun. It can steep up a really nice blue, but the funny thing is, is that it really depends on like the mineral composition of your water. It can kind of also look muddy rather than blue, but it's a really interesting tea. I liked it. Yeah, but my mom loved this one. She would always want, what did she used to call it? She called it something wrong, but I always knew what she meant, so I just make it for her anyways. Huh. Next one here, got a few of them. Gratefully yours. I've got a mini tin, a pitcher pack, and a bag. I love this tea, it's delicious. Would I repurchase this tea? 100% yes I would. I think it's my only grape tea. It's really fun. It also has butterfly pea flowers in it as well, so it steeps up a nice fun purple color if you get enough pea flowers in it. I always infuse honey into this one as well just to kind of sweeten it up a little bit. But yeah, I went through three different things of it. Last one in my white tea collection. This was one of my mom's bags as well. Again, I polished it off. I bought this one for her, actually. That's Seaberry Spa. I really like this tea. One time at my old job, Davis Tea sent me this email, like a random email for a free tea of the day if you went into store. And there used to be a store like five minutes away from my job. So I texted my mom and said, hey, why don't you meet me at David's Tea during my lunch hour? So I took an extended lunch. I may or may not have pretended I had an appointment. And I met my mom there. I bought a full, full bag of Seaberry Spa. She bought a whole bunch of deep blue spirulina, which was very likely in that tin that we just saw. And yeah, it was just a really fun day. I remember saying, mom, do you want me to take the tea home with me? And she's like, no, you can't take my tea. <laughs> oh, it was good, good day. Would I repurchase Seaberry Spa? I definitely would. I really like this one. It's unique. It's not too fruity. It's got kind of an herbal vibe to it. That's probably the ginger and the lemon balm in there. It also has rosemary. Rosemary for your poultices. <laughs> oh, and raspberry leaf. That's really good for you. I actually grow sea buckthorn plants at the farm. The male died, or so I thought, but he came back to life last year. Yeah, you need boy and girl plants to get berries with this kind of plant. Very interesting. They're also very spiky. Their little berries taste like very, very sour oranges, but apparently they have an incredible amount of vitamin C, like way, way more than an orange. It's very interesting. I love growing things. I wish I had my own farm. Now we will go on to green teas. First one, and I think this bag is so cute. I had a bag of this and of pistachio ice cream, which was in a blue version of this, but this one is jasmine creme brulee i don't know if you can see it in the light or not but yeah i love this one it's really good with the vanilla honey as i often mention my mom couldn't have jasmine teas she would get racing heartbeat but i don't seem to so this one's fine with me would i repurchase this one 100 i would this one is delicious dessert style teas just win me over every single time this one's really really good jasmine creme brulee Cream come true. <laughs> Weird little saying. Next one, and oh my, I have quite a few tea empties of this one. You can see I drink it a lot. It was in my top 10. That's matcha ice cream. I went through four bags last year. This one is delicious. I have a large stockpile of it. Would I repurchase? Yes, I would, 100% I would. I reach for this one all the time. It's really, really delicious. It was kind of my gateway to matcha because it has matcha powder in it. Really nice. The one I'm sure you've all been waiting to see, because I talk about it all the time, movie night. I went through four bags last year. 
I absolutely adore this tea. I'm getting whiffs of it just through the empty bag and it's just a dream. This tea has giant popcorn pieces in it and it just tastes so good. I love it. Would I repurchase this one? 100% I would. There's a few of them that I'm gonna say that on in this box, especially when you see multiple empties in one year. It is magically delicious. If I was all out, I would probably even buy this tea full price. It is that good to me. Another one that I have multiple bags of empties. Another one that was in my top 10, Sweet Almond Green. I mentioned before, I got 10 bags of this for 99 cents each, $1 a bag pretty much. And I only bought 10 bags because I didn't know if I would like it. That was stupid. I should have bought 20 bags. This tea is amazing. I've gone through three bags this year. I have seven bags left. It's got that kind of raw almond flavor that's more cherry-like than almond. You have to be careful with your steep time on this though or it will go bitter. I drink this one with no honey at all. It just is delicious on its own. I like it the way it is. Would I repurchase this one? Yes, I would. Would I buy it full price if I was all out? Yes, I probably would. I really like this one. Last one in my green tea collection here. And this one I hope they bring back because if I had more, it would probably be in my top 10. That is toasted walnut. This tea is so, so, so good. I love it. It's got nut brittle, coconuts, walnuts, almond, yum. It's just got all these nice, nutty, sweet flavors to it while still being a nice green tea base. I like to add vanilla honey to this. Would I repurchase this one? Yes, I would, definitely. I would probably even repurchase it full price. I have one tin left. If it came back online, I would snag some up so fast. Now that we finished up the green tea, we're going into oolongs. I kind of did them by no caffeine to like stronger caffeine style teas. <laughs> Organization in my brain. I don't have too many oolongs here. My oolong collection is actually fairly small. This next one, I absolutely hate. Cherry leucoma. It makes me want to gag. I find it so gross. I could barely get through this tiny little bag of it. I have tried to make it every single way. Iced hot as a juice, as a teapot. Blah. I just do not like it. I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's just me, but yeah, not a fan. I think I still have some left too, unfortunately, because I have a tendency to buy things sometimes in more than one bag if they're on sale when I haven't tried them yet. And this is a case where it bit me in the butt. I'm not gonna lie. Happy Kombucha. This one was from my mom's collection as well. I polished it off. I used to buy this tea for her all the time. She loved kombucha. She'd make her own as I've mentioned before. This one I really, really like to blend with mango fruit punch. Would I repurchase this tea? Yes, I would. Do I need to repurchase this tea? Probably not. I have a kilo bag of it. <laughs> it's gonna last me a while. And then there's salted caramel oolong. This one makes an absolutely amazing latte. It's just mind-blowingly good. You just, I can't even explain how good it is. Especially if you can drizzle some caramel on top of the latte. Yum. Would I repurchase this tea? Yes, I would. Would I repurchase it full price? Mm, no, I'd probably wait for it to go on some sort of sale because it's mostly a tea I reach for as a latte. I don't really like this one as much plain. It just does not read as well to me without that creamy base. Really, really nice tea though. Oh, I have one more oolong. That is vanilla orchid in one of the little tins that Laura got me for Christmas. I really like this one. It's very, very smooth. You can re-steep it a couple times if you want to. I typically only steep things once. I like them very fresh. Would I repurchase? Yes, I would. Would I repurchase full price? Probably not. Good enough that I would get it on a sale. On to the black teas. Bahama Mama. This one's okay. My sister really likes it. That's probably why I went through two bags when she was here in town last year. I think we made this one a few times. It's not crazy good to me. A lot of people really like it, so it's nothing to do with the quality of the tea. It's just my personal tastes. Would I repurchase this one? No, I don't think I would. I probably wouldn't even buy it if it was on sale because I still have some leftover bags and it's not my favorite. So what's the point of having it in the collection then, I guess. This one here is one of my sachet boxes that I went through. This was a gift from Laura. Actually, I don't know if it was so much a gift as she just didn't want it, so she gave it to me. 
That's Candy Apple. I went through these at work. I took the box to work and polished them off there. I think it's really good, but you have to be prepared for the fact that it doesn't taste like real apples. It tastes like candies of apples. So I feel like they may have misnamed this a little bit because it tastes like a Jolly Rancher with cinnamon. Would I repurchase this tea? Yes, I would. I'm pretty sure I have repurchased this tea. I just haven't done the unboxings for it yet. It's a nice one. It's good to reach for in sachet form as well. This one here has four bags of tea empties. That's Candy Cane Crush. I love this tea so much. It is so good with the chunks of white chocolate and the little sprinkles in it and the mint and the crushed candy canes. It's just delicious. You can see I've gone through four bags. I'll probably be going through more shortly. I just restocked on this one. So when asked if I would repurchase, the answer is yes, and I have. I usually try to wait until the end of season sale because this one's usually still around and then I can get it for like half price. But I have a good stockpile on this one. I feel safe to have this in my collection and to drink it freely. I don't worry that I'm never gonna be able to try it again. And it's one that seems to return every single year. So it's a good one to fall in love with because your heart won't be broken by it disappearing. This is one of my sister's favorites. I'm pretty sure this must have been one of my mom's bags because it was torn a little unusually. I'm very, very careful with my cutting. This is Cherry Berry Punch and it looked like my niece put a sticker on the bag. So we finished this one off in the summer. My sister made some cold teas with it. So we had iced tea with Cherry Berry Punch. It's probably my favorite or second favorite cherry tea. First, very likely being sweet tart, but maybe a tie, I'm not sure. It's up there though. Would I repurchase this tea? Yes, I would if it was on sale. I probably wouldn't buy it full price, but I don't know if I would buy any fruit-based tea full price. I don't reach for them nearly as much as I do the dessert style teas, but this is a good one. So if you ever wanna try a nice cherry tea that makes also a good iced tea and a good tea for a cocktail base, this one. This one here is one of my favorite black teas. That's Organic Cream of Earl Grey. I like this one a lot, especially with a little bit of vanilla honey. It's really nice. I tend to reach for it in sachet more than I do loose leaf. My aunt bought this for my birthday. I went through it pretty quickly. It's really good. Would I repurchase? Yes, and I probably will be repurchasing from the grocery store because that's where I buy my sachet boxes normally. I don't know why. I don't know why I just don't buy them online. They usually seem so expensive online, but then they're actually less than when I buy them in the store. I don't know, perspective, I suppose. This tea was in my top 10 as well, hence the three empty bags. Jingle Bell Chai with the fun bag. I like the festive bags they did last year. They're really, really cute. Love Jingle Bell Chai. I reach for this one very regularly. I've mentioned how much I like it, why I like it, what I like about it. So I won't dive into that because I've talked about it in a lot of my recent videos. It's just that time of year. Would I repurchase this one? Yes, I would. Have I repurchased this one? Yes, I have recently. So I am well stockpiled on this for a while, which makes me feel happy. And I can just drink it as much as I want then and not have to worry. This is one of my old bags from March of 2016. I just finished it off and opened up a new bag, finally. I'm pretty sure this is when I went to the store with my cousin, Justin, and bought it in person, back when I could do that regularly. That's Read My Lips. This tea's really fun. It's got pink peppercorns, peppermint, chocolate. It's just yummy. I don't know why I don't reach for it more. There's other ones I like better with peppercorns in them, but it is good. Would I repurchase this one? Yes, I would if it was on sale. I wouldn't buy this one full price, but I still like it though. One of my very, very first favorite teas, red velvet cake. I love this one. It doesn't fully taste like red velvet cake, but when you add vanilla honey to it, it definitely gives you a nice cakey vibe. I don't reach for this one as much as I think I would. I have quite a few bags left of it, so I should feel the safety to drink it without worrying. Would I repurchase this one? Yes, I would. If I was entirely out of it or down to one bag, I'd probably even pay full price for it, which is unusual for me. I really like this one. Red velvet cake. This one here was a tin and I have more tins of it, so I probably won't even reuse this one. Pistachio ice cream. This tea is so, so, so good. I bought this tin back in 2019. I just kept refilling it for a while until I ended up getting my new tins. This one's delicious. It's got pistachios in it. It's very creamy, rich. I really like their nutty teas. They're so good. 
And anything that says ice cream on it or cake, I tend to love those from David's Tea. Pistachio ice cream is one that I would definitely repurchase. Again, if I was almost out, I would probably pay full price for this one. Next one here, I've got a few things of it. Santa's Secret. I've got my old bag that I got in store. I've got a sampler tin that someone bought me for Christmas. And then this one was from that day I was telling you about that I went to the store with my mom on my lunch. They ended up giving this to her as a free gift with her purchase. I ended up getting, I can't remember, I feel like I got sleigh ride. My mom never reached for it. This was not her cup of tea for whatever reason, which is odd because she typically loves minty teas. But she also hated Santa Claus, so it may have been the name that threw her off. I don't know. I polished this one off at work this year because it was in sachet form. It kept its flavor really, really nicely. I was worried because I had had this tea for quite a few years and it was still very flavorful. Santa's Secret is in my top 10 teas of 2022 video and 2021 video. Would I repurchase this tea? 100% I would. Would I repurchase it full price? If I was all out, yes, I would. I really, really like this tea. It's so good. I think I've bought it full price before actually. Now on to my puers. Love me my puers. First one, <laughs> I have four empties of it. You can tell I reach for it often. It was in my top 10. Coffee puer. This tea is really, really good. It's one of the ones I'm using to replace my coffee in the morning. If you are trying to do that, this is a good one for it. It's actually got coffee beans in it. It's very full bodied. It kind of gives you the illusion that you're drinking coffee without giving you weird jitters. I haven't managed to cut out my very first cup of coffee each day. I still give myself one cup but I have managed to cut out all other cups. I stick with tea after coffee number one. Sometimes when I feel like I need a second cup of coffee, I just go straight for this one and it tricks my brain. <laughs> would I repurchase this one? Yes, I would. Would I pay full price? Yes, I would if I was out, but I'm stockpiled. Now for my very, very favorite tea. I went through a giant tin and then two bags. English toffee, so good. Would I repurchase this tea? 100% I would, even at full price. And I actually bought these bags at full price along with eight other ones. I spent $70 on one type of tea. Worth it. It's the one that I would willingly buy in bulk full price if I had to. It doesn't go on sale too often and it also disappears from the website a lot. This is one I like to have first thing in the morning. It's similar to coffee puer in the way that it can replace coffee for me and it's just all around so delicious. If you haven't tried it, I would 100% recommend that you do. Last one out of my bags. This is S'mores Chai. This I believe went to my sister. We probably shared the last couple scoops of tea, which is why I have the bag and she doesn't. But you can see it's got my brother-in-law's rating of a five. I was shocked that he didn't love this one because it literally tastes like a s'more and he loves dessert things. Very good as a latte. Would I repurchase this one? Yes. Would I buy it full price? Probably not because I typically only drink it in latte form and I don't reach for lattes very often. But would I buy it on sale? Yes, I would repurchase it on sale. That is it for my large tampies. And then I have some sachet bags, which I'll just go through quickly. I won't bother to say if I'll repurchase them or not because they're sachet bags. I've got Pama Grateful here. Did I like it that much? No. Organic cinnamon rooibos chai, love it. Stash lemon ginger, okay. T2's Christmas breakfast. Well, T2 is closing down in the United States. These were sent to me by another T-tuber. I liked this one, it was good, but I would probably never get to try it again now, now that they're closing. T2's Pax of Peach, it was good. T2's French Earl Grey, pretty nice for an Earl Grey. T2's Pumping Pomegranate, I remember liking this one. T2's Jade Mountain, now this one I loved. If I could get my hands on a box of this, I totally would, very good. Last one, I don't know how to say that. Puka, pukka, I don't know. Chamomile, vanilla, and manuka, manuka honey? I'm not sure. It was at my cousin's house that I drank this. It was okay. That is it for my tea empties of 2022. I've been trying to get to this video forever. I intended to do six month stints, like first six months tea empties, second six months, no, I could not do it. So I ended up with a whole year of tea empties and oh my goodness, is there ever a lot of tea bags here? I'm looking at the table around the camera and it is just stacked. <laughs> 
This was very fun to do though, so I'm gonna try to continue saving my tea bags in 2023. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more. I'm pretty sure I stockpiled my tea bags from 2021 as well, so I could always do a belated video of that. We'll see. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.